Hi, welcome to the Digimaster channel for all your Digimon content. So after our first devastating loss against the uh, Gabobont, we now face another meta deck, with, uh, one we aren't that prepared for in security control. This is gonna be a very hard matchup, but thanks to the 8 cost of a lot of our level 5s, we do have a small chance to win this. So, uh, yeah, let's see if we can actually beat it. Please note that these matches are edited after recording, so thinking time, judge calls and other non-interesting stuff has been cut for your enjoyment. Enjoy! Our opponent goes first and he just hatched a yellow egg. It's gonna be there for a long time probably. And starts again with a reinforced memory boost, so a normal turn for sick control. And we see a Mastermon, which is a bit of a surprise, but yeah, can be a good tech to uh, take you win by surprise. Yeah. And our game plan is just to uh, build something up in raising, can be something big, something small, and yeah, drop some high level costs in which our opponent. Hopefully he's forced to use his big removal spells against it. And try to chip away its security. We know that uh, first attack is a Mastermon. So I don't know why I hit with the Blossomon first. Should have hit with the Terriamon. But yeah, maybe one. Probably want to keep it for the reinforced memory boost. But yeah, Terriamon will be removed from the field any moment now and uh, any moment is here with the lightning paw not a card we don't see that much in security control but yeah with all the rocky rush and the kabu mons rushing at you lightning paw can be a very good card <coughs> sorry for that and um, yeah so i said can now use the reinforced memory boost because the terramon is removed Gain some extra memory, and we just see Sakuyamon, which is already pretty hard for me to deal with. It's 11k. So we try to build up another body in the raising. Probably just doing with Arbomon or, yeah, evolve it. It'd be a good idea to uh, evolve it into level 5 with a uh, ODP if we have it in our hand, of course. Yeah, we do. The Ancient Era Troymon. Which is a pretty good card against security control because when it's deleted, you can play a hybrid from your hand to still keep the body. Another body, but you keep a body on board. And thankfully, we did evolve this so we wouldn't die from security. And then yeah, just build up in raising. Do not give him the extra memory of Izzy and Joe. And here we have the Lilamon, which is a pretty good card to have. It has a play cost eight, so he doesn't get hit by Gwaltformer. And we can suspend the Sakuyamon next turn. And he hit security and we reveal a Mimi, which is a pretty good card to hit. And here we see the ancient Ramal Troymon getting deleted. Um, yeah, it's always a doubt if we, if you do play the hybrid or not, it's not always the best choice. And if Mimi is on the board, you probably want to keep the hybrid in our hand. So we'll raise Lilamon. And yeah, just digivolve evolve into a level 5 if you have it to swing into the Sakuyamon. We're both 11. I don't know about the uh, sources, but I don't think I have uh, something to raise my DP. So I'll have to digiburst. Probably using the weed mom in uh, extra memory. And then we can swing in the Sakura mon and yeah, remove a small threat from the field. And now it probably would be best to just use Mimi. Uh, if I remember correctly, we, I didn't have a rookie in my hand, so I didn't mind even suspending Mimi. Uh, but playing the chairman is also a good play. 
because it's an eight cost, so we can't remove them easily. Let me see the Wi-Fi spread to remove the Rafflesimum first. We see, yeah, we drew a rookie. We can swing with Cheremon, and if it lifts, we can. So here's the Guelch Farmer. Just goes to his hands, and we can, yeah, start rushing a bit. So we swing with Tintamon. It can die. Yeah, and he dies. Another Mastermon. So he's playing more than one. So very nice. Ech. And here we just play the weak mom, so we, my opponent goes to three thanks to easy Mimi. But he can't remove both bodies. It, yeah, it's easy on the field, the one would only target the weak mom. And any other spell would only target the cherry mom. So we're pretty safe to keep one body at the board at least. And we see a Mahadramon to uh, gain some extra security. Chairman first, since we don't have a rookie, and it lifts, which is pretty nice. Been living for a long time. Go into the Argomon, another Digimon with play cost of 8. And Girl Swarmer isn't doing him any good right now. Um, yeah, it would be very nice to evolve over it. And we can swing and hopefully we find a rookie so we can play the free rookie but yeah we didn't it's a reinforced memory boost so terrymon would be a nice play right now but since we don't have it but it's just gonna be a weed mom the argument effect of a uh, suspending his tamers isn't that big in this matchup it isn't in it it's not intended for this matchup, but yeah, it's good that we have it. Um, and yeah, we have two security, we have two bodies, and a hidden body with Mimi, of course. But it won't do us any good. He's gaining a lot of memory, so again, do a board wipe with different options. Another easy and Joe. Yeah, gains a lot of memory, and a normal easy. Start his turn with three, and we see an Iron Fist at Onslaught. Reinforced Memory Boost and Magna Angel on. So we know where this uh, next draw is going to be, or we're going to put it in security. And Reinforced Memory Boost, so we can put one of the two in his, tra in his security. And here's the Iron Fist Onslaught from his hands. Another one, of course. To delete the Orgamon, so we definitely can not win this turn. Just go into a Blossomon. And yeah, probably just swing with it, or if we have a level 3, then we can play that as well. Or yeah, level 5 would be even better. Intriguing for the level 3, and we finally have one. Um, yeah, we don't want to raise it, we want to keep it safe. Just win with Nidloch. And then it would be best to just pass the turn so he only has 3 memory, so he can, can't do that much. Hmm. Bit of a weird play, but some aggression, of course. Um, yeah, I think it would be best to swing Nithoch into the security. Not into the Magnetromon. We see a white red bread, so we can't win yet. But if we just, uh, yeah, create the body raising one body on the field then we are uh, yeah deadlocked to win because he has to choose between deleting our body or gaining some extra security and Lionel is perfect for this 
we know he still has a Gewalt Swarmer in his hand, so he can't even use that. And we know he has a reinforced memory boost, but uh, yeah, then we can see which card is going on top. And we can safely swing. So yeah, Sword Defeat is going on top, but it doesn't matter anymore, because uh, we can just swing Lilamon, swing Argamon, Digivolve into Arbormon over the Mimi and win the game. And there's nothing that could happen, because we know that the top security is just an animal Sword Defeat. That's just to lose a mon, that mon dies, and we win with Arbor Mon. So my opponent didn't have the best card, didn't have mass removal, and um, I have to say, I played the matchup how it should should have been played. Play a lot of high costs, uh, make it hard for him to delete them. And yeah, second game I had a bad very bad starting hand, no level 4s, no level 3s, so I just had to pass, which of course you don't want to see. My opponent starts with a egg and a bushy agamon, and they make a normal, which is uh, pretty hard to get over actually, especially if you don't have the Lilamon, it's, it's only a 2 of, and it's a 1 card that can actually save you against the uh, Mechanorimon. I just play the Weedmon, put him into tree, and yeah, Weedmon can't actually do that much. I was kind of uh, blocked. So he swings it pushy and draw an extra card. And he hits into a Reflezimon, which takes care of the pushy Agamon. So I'm happy it dies, so I don't. Cause, uh, it would be hard to do with it actually. Thanks to the Mechanorimon, would be safe behind the Mechanorimon, and uh, I had a hard time finding bigger Digimon. So happily, the Bushy died in security. So here we see Izzy and Joe on top, which is yeah needed because mm, my game plan is looking to be to swarm him. But that would be the best card for him to draw and to play. We do find a level 3 so we can build up a bigger body in security. But it seems we don't have it, so I have to play the Lalamon, which can't do anything thanks to the Mechanorimon. Which I said is pretty hard to deal with it if I don't find the right cards. Anyway, here we see the Easy and Joe that he has chosen. So we, yeah. Gain a lot of memory in this next turn, but I don't think it's uh, smart to swing into his Mechanorimon. Yeah, just play into the Kabuterimon and I have to drop another rookie. So we start at 5, but again, I don't want to swing into the Mechanorimon just to uh, have him gain less memory. And here we see the Geogramon we knew was coming. Again, yeah, probably target the Weedmon. Yeah, so we just have to wait and play till we find level 5. Don't think playing a lot of rookies is the best thing I can do, except for Tentamol, of course, because he let us search for another rookie. But yeah, this game is not going how I want, I want it to go, and he has some. Minor rushing capabilities. The ultimate flare is very devastating. Just yeah, wiping the board, so why not play it? And here we are, pretty desperate, just playing the ancient Troymon and baiting out some of his options. I remember this game I had a lot of um level sixes in my hand. So yeah, now it just swings with you, Greymon. And it dies against the Blossomon, which is again pretty lucky of me to have it die, not let have it swing every turn. And here we see the Sakuyamon. So I think it would be safe to uh, yeah, just play another big body. Hmm. Maybe it doesn't have the cards to deal with it. 
but yeah, knowing security control probably has the card to deal with it. Yeah, here's the RF stone slot to remove it. And yeah, said I didn't have any level fives, so was swamped with rookies and level sixes in my hands. So yeah, just keep on trying to keep something on the field, which is the best game plan of course, but if you don't have any AI plans, that, that's the best plan. And yeah, here I already knew I was losing this game, especially with his, uh, yeah, here we see the Arfist onslaught going into security always. And yeah, then we know even if I swing now it will just die, so yeah. And he can swing freely, probably won't die. Don't have anything that can kill it because it lowers the DP of my security digital with 3k. So if my Mitochia and Ancient Troys are only 10, it's actually nothing is secure to could uh, delete the Sakuya mom. And here we see another big removal spell. We're counting them down, but they still has a lot, of course. And let's, yeah, <laughs> and try it again. We know the Arfist onslaught is insecure, but yeah, as I said, we didn't have any level 5, so we don't have any other plan. As I said, we, we knew we were going to lose this game. But it's security control, so just uh, hope and play. And there's also the idea if can't win this one you can maybe try to stall out the last one to force a tie but yeah it's kind of a desperation play and then we see Ukrainian on which is 12k so we can swing over it yeah um, I think we finally found a level 5 are just tired of waiting. We're just tired of waiting. And now thanks to Mimi we can raise another patch another egg and draw some other cards. The block with cranium on was a bit weird in my eyes. I, I swung into the Sakoyamon. But yeah. I think we'll just have let it go into the Sakoyamon. Cranium is important, more important in the later game. But yeah, we here we have the level five. Uh, yeah, I want to just play into a level four in the back. We don't want to put the blossom on over the cabotarium on because first we can swing into security with it, thanks to the sacuamon, and we don't want it the level five to die, as we see happen here. The Ornis mom can just trigger the deletion of Kabuteramon and I don't see any plan anymore to win this game. A Lalamon, but then it just blocks with uh, Mechanorimon, so I think this game is ready to scoop. Here we do find the Lalamon. But even if we did burst and suspend something it ju can just uh, Block it, because make another one, can't attack anyways. Yeah. So here we scoop, and we go to game 3, and we hope to have a better game. So I let my opponent go first, and hopefully he can't do that much, but he does find the Bushy Agumon again on the first turn. Which is uh, pretty hard to see, because uh, yeah, the small things are from raising are hard to deal with. And they can take out a few security and give you a kind of clock to race against. Otherwise you can just uh, build something up, take your time, try to win the game that way. If they have something raising and if it wouldn't die in hitting my security, then we have a problem. And we just play Arbormon. This 
Kachi actually don't want to play because it's pretty important to the 12 of the tamers and try to win that way but yeah he swings with Bushi and again another ref leaves on and we're pretty lucky again to Bushi dies in security so we don't have to deal with it and here we see make a Neumann again which is again pretty hard to deal with even having a ref leave him on uh, a Lylamon right now wouldn't help me so I can't use a Digiburst but we can try to swing yeah with something bigger than the Mechanorimon so we swing with Cherrymon we hit into the ultimate flare just luckily because it doesn't delete our Digimon and we just play a Terrymon again didn't get my Evolution lines that prettily. Yeah, it's very good to know. It's only a six k in security. Um, not a fan of raising here. I can't pitch off over it. So we download using the Terriamon into the blossom on and we can safely swing with it because it will know it will live but we can't swing with Argomon we can't pitch fall over it it seems so uh, shouldn't have been raised of course I can draw some extra cards with stitch wolf in next turn but yeah we are kind of forced to play the Tentamon and we find a capital run, we find a level 4, which is good. So we can try to build up next turn. And here comes an ultimate flare. This is evolving our Orbomon again. Again, it lives, of course. But, uh, yeah, we need our level 5s. We were never already too gone. Off into another cherry mon, and yeah, probably just swing with it. It's bigger than a McNory mon. We hit a easy and Joe, so now we don't want to play anything on the field. Ditch the 12 in raising, and if we don't have anything, just pass. But we do have the blossom mon, so we can have prone to one, and it doesn't get any extra memory. So this is looking better than the second game. Still, the Mechanormon is very annoying to deal with. And here we see a Salomon in Raising, which is also pretty annoying. So, probably will gain a extra security. And I will gain an extra security now as well. So, here we do raise the Blossomon. It's level 5, cannot get it's bigger. And we should have swung with Cherrymon first. But there could be an argument made that we actually don't want to swing with Cherrymon because it can block the Magna Ingemon. But I think, yeah, kind of a clock we want to race. And play Tentamon, find an Orgamon. Hopefully, we do have a level 5, a uh, level 4 over the Tentamon. Yes, we do. And I have to play uh, Terriamon. My opponent gains free four memory thanks to his easy and Joe. Pretty good card in security. Pretty good card in every deck because uh, only two Digimon in the field is a very easy thing to do for your opponent. Here we see the Salomon. If it swings, you just block it because uh, yeah, you want to win the race. in over his Mega Angelmon to have a very big Sequoiamon so the Chairmon can block. I still think I should have had to swing with the Chairmon last turn to race. And again, we had a Mimi security, it's like the third game that happened. And here, Chairmon is gone. We didn't swing with Salmon, so yeah, it's not going to lose this. Uh, Give on the next turn so we can keep it there, keep it safe. And 
use it when he needs it. So again, we're digging for a level five. Then now already four level five gone. Of the uh, eleven I play, so uh, there are more. So we hopefully have find them. Finding a Lila Mall right now would be like perfect. Uh, disclaimer: It's not going to happen. Hard play and the Mom opponent goes to 10 because of Easy and Joe. Um, yeah, I don't think that's the best play, but if I would have passed, then he would start a tree, go to 7. So that 3 extra memory isn't that important, I think. Could be wrong because now you can use 2 deletion spells, but yeah, we're kind of baiting the deletion spells, of course. And here we move the whole field. So the extra tree memory did actually matter. But if I would have passed, then it would just play the Earthfist Onslaught. So nah, it didn't matter. Just, it didn't swing with Sakuyamon. I would have blocked it, of course. Actually, I don't think I would have blocked. I'm not sure. I can use Mimi and raise another Digimon with some aggression. I just play the Ancient Troymon. Uh, I probably will get blown up right away. We couldn't swing with uh, Blossomon because of Sakoyamon. Salomon. Does die, he gains the security, and the Sakuyamon becomes suspended to the Asian Troymon effect, which is nice, of course. So now we can swing into it. If it would have lift, of course. And now I do choose to use the effect of Asian Troymon to drop the Arbormon. Uh, yeah, just wanted to find something to hit in the Sakuyamon to remove from the field. But I, I did just hop into Blossomon. I do have to find a Refleezimon if I want to swing into the Sakuyamon. It's the only thing that keeps my turn. Oh yeah, I did a hidden potential discovered here, so that would keep turn as well. So I can... Blossomon. And we can hatch another egg. It's the last egg, so we want to keep busy raising until we are going to win the game. So we swing with the Ancient Tormon. We can swing into the Sakoyamon and he chooses to block it. Which I do understand in this case, because he needs the aggression, he only needs three attacks to win the game. And here starts a very big misplay of me. I uh, had a weed in my hand, so I could digivolve the Argomon in raising into a level 4. Then I read 3 memory, then I just could go into any level 6 I wanted. But I chose for the Mimi to uh, have another hybrid. Possible, but yeah, it's the wrong choice afterwards. I can show for the Mastermon. There's the very good option, and he can play Push Agmon. Can't attack, of course. But still, he has now has a three bodies on the field. I have no security left, so I need to find a lot of things. First, we swing into Sakyamon, we always do that, so uh, that's kind of a freebie. And now, as I said, I should have swung uh, Ditchwolf in Weedmon. 
or into Capitan Armon, into a level 4 last turn. So I could uh, either Lylamon in my hand, and then I could have gone into Nitrogmon to remove the Pushy Agamon and play a bl blocker. But um, yeah, I think this board state is scooped a bit too early. Because, uh, yeah, if we would have swung with one of his Digimon, the other one would get suspended, and I could block that attack with Kabuterimon. Um, I thought, yeah, yeah, two attacks are my phone blocker, so I just lose this game. But actually, I didn't. Uh, we talked afterwards about it. He didn't have anything big in his security. He used all his deletion spells, so uh, it was a very harsh scoop of me because I actually could have won the game if it went a little bit further but yeah it was a very disheartening mistake of me and very well played of my opponent during the rest of the game of course so yeah we are now 0-2 a set a very bad matchup for green the security control deck and we'll try to win the next one and otherwise we can just scoop and have a nice Sunday Saturday of course but yeah thanks for watching I would like to thank everyone for watching this video later rounds of the regionals will be uploaded later this week on this channel so make sure to subscribe if you're interested in seeing them and I would also like to thank our sponsor TCG shop for providing us the boxes and singles needed to participate in these tournaments be sure to check them out in the link in the description if you are interested in cheap Digimon boxes or singles. And I would love to see all of you in the next video. Goodbye!